Good morning to all. Today, our fourth program on a webinar series. Today, our topic is creating a web portal using WordPress. Uh, let uh, let uh, let Trinal Professor start introduce uh, today's our resource person, Mr. Rada. Good morning to everyone. Today's our resource person is Mr. P. Radha Krishna. He's currently working as a librarian at TS Srinivasan Center for Polytechnic College and Advanced Training, Chennai. Previously, he has worked in SPI Global and Tamil Nadu Veterinary and Animal Science University, Chennai. He holds MSc in Information Science from the University of Madras. He has published five journal articles and 20 conference papers in various national and international conferences, seminars. He has delivered invited talks, organized national seminars, conference, and conducted workshop on Koha, WordPress, etc. He has visited Sri Lanka in 2015 to attend an international research workshop at the University of Kalania, Colombo. Currently, he is holding position of PRO for Salis Chennai. Also, a member of professional societies such as Salis, Mala, etc. He is expertise in open source software, CMS such as Koha, DSpace, WordPress, and Moodle. He is very enthusiastic and proactive in creating information products by using the open source tools and deliberate to work LAS software developments. In this note, I invite Mr. P. Radha Krishna to start his presentation. Very good morning to all. I would like to thank first Mr. Trinokasi, the founder of LISQuiz.com and the RBC secretary, Mr. Suresh. I would like to thank you one and all. So today we are going to see about that, how to create a web portal for a library or a company or institution, whatever it is, the basic method is same. So today we will learn how to create a website without paying any money. Today we are going to show webinar on creation of library web portal using WordPress content management system. First, before going that, I, I just want to uh, tell you something. <clears throat> for this website creation, the basic computer knowledge is more than enough for the creation of website. So no need for any technical knowledge for to create the website. If you are able to create a Facebook account, LinkedIn, Instagram, etc. If you are able to do that, you can also work on this website also. So the initially I will give you the what are the registration process and uh, what is the WordPress. I tell you the basic introductions and the PPT. Then we'll go for a uh, live demonstration step by step how to update our content. Yes. First of all, the overview, what is a WordPress? So actually the WordPress is an open source content management system which allows you user build a dynamic website and black. WordPress is the most popular blogging system in the web. Update your update and customize, manage your website in the back end of CMS. So the content management system <coughs> uh, WordPress was developed in 27th May 2003 by Matt Mulvang and uh, Mike Little. They are the Americans. They are the entrepreneur. They are founded the WordPress. Then the, later on 2009, they given as a, announced as a open source. So in the content management system, what are the documents we can upload, such as text, photo, music, audio, video, whatever you document you have, we can upload it. So that this WordPress, they are giving in the two platform. Uh, one is the wordpress.org, one is the wordpress.com. I'll tell you what are the difference for org and the dot com. The first of all, the wordpress.org, which means in the site, you can go and download a WordPress software. You can install in your local server. You maintain your local server. And you can create in this set, you need for some basic technical knowledge to install and do web host your own server. There is no limitation for this. Only need for the, some technical knowledge. Then the second one is we are going to see today, the WordPress.com. This one is for basic knowledge is required more than enough for us. So we can create a website 
within uh, 10 minutes the, our website will be available in the uh, online so i'll tell you the major difference between the two websites so first for the wordpress.org web hosting is not a free and domain name is not a free so once you are installed a standalone system in your computer you have to buy you have to web host and you have to get, buy a domain and all those things you have to burn then the design and themes it's fully customizable it's your control you can do it plugins backups are self-managed as well as our server we can manage it security also ours our end so in the wordpress.com web hosting is free domain name is free whatever the name we need we can search and we can fix the website name and design is limited because we are going to use for free plugins also limited then backup also they given for a uh, we can backup in our website i will tell you later on how to backup and all and security is more secure for from the wordpress site then this is the front page of uh, wordpress.com here how to do something only for a three steps method we can uh, <clears throat> create a website first of all you have to need for only for email address for gmail is most probably useful so you just go on here there is a link like login page so first of all you start for a start with your site so start with and here will be the asking for a email address and choose your name which name you want to go login day by day activities and choose your own password and click on create your account once the account created it will ask for in the top you are uh, get your domain name so your website name you should type here i just type for tvs library if uh, if it is the library is available uh, for the domain name is available it will show here see here the below the, it is showing for tvs library dot wordpress dot com here it's showing it's a free you have to select the free the other things are all available for a dot net dot com oh these are all we have to pay for a year for every year 1200 1050 the based on the denomination will be here so we just going to click on select free one select a free then it will ask for some other uh, <coughs> paid programs we no need for this so just here not sure start with a free website so click on free website once click the website our website is created so our website is ready once our website is ready we have to do one thing uh, they will send in a registration uh, confirmation email link to our email once we have to confirm the email then only we can work further so they will send an immediately they will send an uh, email to us you will just click to confirm now once you confirm this link this link will go on here the next page will go on here it will ask for the site title for you which site name you want to fix on your front page of your website so i just choose on tvs polytechnic college library whether it is your company you can give your company name in the front page it will show you on in your front page so whether it is a library or company or institution or college what are the website based on the, your requirement you can type on it then below there is a uh, site tagline if you have any tagline in your institution you can give on a tagline then that below there will be another one more option will be there launch a site so we have to launch a site to the visible to public unless it will be private only we can search and use on it so here you can click the launch site before that click here there is a public option so your site is visible to everyone so click on public and launch your site once launched our site it will ask again for a uh, any purchase mode you want to choose on a library dot in or co dot in i think we no need for that so here skip for the purchase click on skip purchase then our site will be launched so finally our website is launched within five minutes our website is ready and visible to everyone so here our website is showing on here tvs library dot wordpress dot com our site is ready so this is our site name http.tvs.library.wordpress.com so here i am going to show that how to create a menu how to input input our video audio how it's how it's look like our uh, professional website 
so i will tell you the step by step in the here after the practical so live demo so let's see you just open the browser this is wordpress.com once go here just click sign in as i said i have a one username then continue click on it then it ask for password then log in now we are in a wordpress site here there is a corner website there will be my site so left side in the top click on my site see here there is a lot of options will be available so here the below the last below the wp admin which means wordpress admin here only we are going to work all those things just click on wp admin it will come for our uh, dashboard these are all the actions will be here we are, we are going to do all those things here post media link pages comments feedback appearance i will tell you the what are the importance menus how to do it all so now i will show you once we created our website now we have to see how our website is looking like before we start everything see this is how our website raw website will be showing on here see this is our website i uh, typed for tvs polytechnic college library then menus are in right side home block about there is only for default menus will be here we have to change on this so here it showing for a right side there is a menus I, I, it is not suitable for me i am going to ch uh, change my uh, themes so then only it will come for a, i need for menu in right, uh, left side so what are the things we will do i will show you on it so once i will come for the dashboard once the first things we have to do in appearance there is a themes first you should select your best themes based on the your themes only it will be your site will be visible and will the options will be shown so based on your requirement you choose your theme the themes are two categories are one is paid one and free there is a limited free uh, themes are available we can choose it which one is better for us then here there is option for all free premium just select on free if you like any paid premium you can pay and uh, use it the uh, <coughs> themes then i will scroll down there is a lot of themes are available here there is a menu for left side starting so there is an options lot of things will be available i just click on this theme activate so our theme is now activated here the new theme activated so let's see our site how it's looking like now we changed our theme only the theme we changed we'll see the what are the major difference will be happen here see now the menus are in the left side so now the everything will be changed so we are going to add as like this menu what are the menu and the sub menus and sub menu of sub menus how to do and all so let's go before going to do all those things we need a small settings how to do here there is a menu option below click on the menu
here there, there will be an option here just if it is not ticked automatically add top uh, new top level pages you just click on it if it is not just click on it and save the menu this is the only thing you have to do one time action once you done it we'll go to create an a pages okay once we created so here after majority of the work will be uh, going to done in pages side so here pages click add new Okay. So in the right side corner use blank layout click on it and add your title which means your menu name i can create just create about as whenever you need you can uh, edit your menu name edit your content whatever it is you want to edit you can edit at any time so i'll just give an about as there is a default about also there we can remove it if you, we don't need so i just type about as and there is a top publish just click on publish now the page is published i will check that in another browser i created a menu for about as so now it's come for about as here there is a lot of menus are here i don't need for these all things what we'll do just first remove this all those thing then we'll create our new menus so i created about as also so once created about as we'll go to dashboard again so about as i will create one more menu add new when to create library so about as in that i will give a about library the informations about library i'll create the same things everything you have to do publish it will update it will indicate in here your menu or page is updated your page published once it is done only our page will be visible so i created a two menu so in that library in that library we have created based on your library will be the menus will we can add on it so i'm going to add an uh, vision mission objective as a menu so what we'll do again i have some document before creating a site you just make your content ready what are the menus you are going to create you have to prepare your content based on your website whether it is library you can create library related if it is company you can create company related college it means as like same so i use blank layout we taking some time okay have some doc content so i typed a mission but we i created three menus but i didn't give any content so i decided about two menus are only for uh, 
top category. So in the, in the in that mission only, I'm going to give an a content. So mission, there is an content for me. I just copy it. And here there is option for plus symbol. I just click on it. There's a lot of options will be available. Paragraph, list, embedded. So you can select whatever you need. Now I'm going to give, put on a text. In the text, there is option for paragraph. You just click on paragraph and type your content. Once you paste the same thing, you just publish. I just published. So we, we included our content. So now see our website, how it's looking like. See here, this about us we created, library we created, mission we created. So click on the mission. Our content will be visible like this. So if you want the text color, we can change on it. Later on I will tell you how to change our text color and all. So this is how it's all and comes for in a top menu category. We no need for all those things in top menu means we can separate as a main menu, sub menu, sub up, sub menu, we can create on it. So again, we'll go to dashboard. I'll tell you how to create a sub menu and how to remove unwanted menus. So for some default menus, okay. So again, we have to go for appearance in that menus. See here, these are all the menu pages available. So here I'm going to remove first unwanted menus. So this block is default menu. Just click on it, remove it about also remove it and there is a three home just remove it remove it okay for contact home under is necessary for us so i created about as library mission so i want to library as a below of about us see here looking like a website is everything is here so I just click on it, track in the right side. Just track it. Now see the menu is sub item. So just save. Okay. Our menu is saved. Now let's see refresh our website. See, the unwanted menus are gone. So now home, contact, about us, mission. See here, click on about us, there will be in a library. So this mission is in the top menu. So I want the mission is below of the library, which means the second sub menu of about us. So the same thing, you just click on it, mission and track sub of library. Now it's under about us library below the mission. So now save the menu. This is how we can create a sub menu within a fraction of second without any coding. So now we save, just refresh our site see now the mission is gone now the mission is here so about as library mission it's give us a professional look for your website we can create a lot of sub menus like this based on your requirement now we created so here hmm, next we'll create some other menus we can for a library website we can create for uh, some other uh, uh, one more sub menus Mm, obviously, your li library working hours will be given rules and regulations. You have to give the user will be knowing what are the timings library will open and rules and regulation. They can see here itself. So 
again go pages whenever you you need to add a menu you just go to the pages add new use it use blank layout and type working hours and copy your content and click the plus symbol go to the text if it is list you can click on list it is available like as a bulletin then publish it will update once updated it showing on our website so the page is published once the page is published you can see on it the same procedure for everything if you are able to create one menu one sub menu then you are able to create all those menu now the working hours came on as a top level menu so the same options we just go dashboard or uh, in the dashboard we just go to appearance menus and click working hours in sub of library so i created a two sub menu for a library the same way you can create more than 4 or 5 6 whatever it is you need based on your requirement so click on it now we have created top level menu and sub menu how to create a sub of sub item so refresh it our website and now see in that library there is a mission and working hours click on it it will list down here as like it then Again, we'll go to add some e-resources. E-resources, there will be in, uh, how to add a link. E-resources, especially for um, uh, subscribed e-journals, subscribed e-books, so subscribed um, um, uh, databases, all those things will be available. We can give a how to add all those things in link in a professional way. So the same thing, just go to the page, add new, I'm going to, give a top level menu name as a e resources have some content with me so the same way use Use blank layout and click on it. Just type e resources. This is only for top level menu. That's why I'm not giving any content below here. If you want, you can give the content or introduction about this. Just publish and it will update automatically. Then see our site. How it's looking like. Now the e-resources or menus are arrived. So the next thing, I'm going to add a e-journals. There will be a lot of e-journals available. So I just click on it and go to dashboard. Add new page. As like same, use blank layout. And I'm going to journals. It is open access journal. I just type 
ओपन एक्सेस journals so in the below i am going to add add block click on it so here i am going to add an a paragraph just click african Gen journal online type on it here we have to link for this link then only the user click on african journal online it will be open for a concerned website see here there is option click the link and copy our own link now the link is included for that the same way we'll add one more free scientific long click on it link now just publish all the pages published now we'll refresh it here there is open access e journals it comes on a main menu so we need to comes under for this open access e journals in comes under e resources so same way you know now very well how to do as a sub menu the same way go to dashboard appearance and menus here there is open access e journal drag it that's it and save menu don't forget it save menu every time you need to publish update and save these things is very essential for creating this website without saying save this file it won't be appear in the our website front page now e resources under open access e journals now you just click on it african journal of online now it will go to the concern side but the one thing is we missed here we clicked down it but the uh, african journal site will journal site will be open but our website will be gone so there is small tricks on here you can click open with next tab option i will show you that how to do that things also so come back our site the same way you can now the same menu i will tell you how to edit now i am going to edit on that open access e journals how to edit this e journals if there is any spelling mistake or any other corrections or you are going to feature going to add something or remove something how to do it i'll tell you now the pages go all pages only for creation new pages guest go for add new now these are all the pages we created so now we are going to work on it in a open access e journals so click on edit open access e journals now we'll add one more thing loan university at a block here yeah, there will be one more options it's called a link it says these are all the options available available here this is a embedded youtube i'll tell you how to insert youtube videos and all
this is also the there is a lot of more options available whatsapp and all those things these are all for a paid paid one so the paid subscriber can access something some basic things we can use on it so the simple way you can as like go to the text menu in the text menu there will be a classic option this classic option is looking like something in our ms word similar to like that just on classic you will find a lot of options will be here i just click on the classic here there is options will be available paragraph bold italic double quoted what are things available now i just shoot on paste on the load university and copy that university site i'm going to select on it here there will be option insert or edit link just click on it and type it there is option for this arrow mark click on it either below there is a setting menu click on it here there will be option for open the link in new tab just click open the link in new tab then only our website will be the same page our uh, concerned uh, party website will be open in the next site just update it and update your menu why it showing update means before we already published the same menu we are going to edit only for these things so it's asking for update now our page is updated now we can check on it click now e resources under open access e journals see these are all the things we already given now the lone university just click on it see now the website is opening for the next step. our website in the same tab so this is how we can give the small tricks it's looking like a professional okay then click on wordpress i will tell you if you have a, uh, a something document pdf or audio video whatever it is you have majority them we have only for pdf word excel whatever it is so i will show you some example how to upload on a pdf file if i have an ebooks how to give our user to use on a ebooks so i will show you how to upload on a ebooks and sir i will tell you before that the storage size of our website so we are using for a free website they are giving for 3 gp storage for this word this wordpress so we can use up to 3 gp from their own server without paying anything the 3 gp we can upload n number of ebooks e journals whatever it is we can use it more than 10000 so based on the, the size will be less if you are going to upload only for pdf you can upload lot of more things we can use as a institutional repository also as like a content management system so i will tell you how to upload on a pdf file just click add new i'm going to create an our menu for ebooks under the ebooks we will upload the pdf file in that the same as you know very well now ebooks in that i have some ebook one ebook i will upload teaching aptitude i'll upload it then later on you can if you don't need you can delete it no problem so just click add block button and go to classic if you are using the classic menu you can find all those things and all here only so majority we can work on the classic the rest of the thing you can click on it use it so click classic i'm going to type teaching aptitude by narayan so you just select this
in the class if you are not able to find this option. Okay, add media. Click on add media. Just click upload files. Here you can see what are the formats you can upload. JPEG, JPG, PNG, GIF, PDF, document, PPT, PTX, what are the document you need. One single file up to 1 GB, you can upload it. Up to 1 GB. The maximum size of the will available 3 GB for a free. Now, as per now, we utilize only for 104 KBs only. Whenever we adding a text, it won't be occupy any uh, that much of <clears throat> huge space. So the text you can add lot of things. But now I'll select to select the file. See, there is a book. I said you just open it. It will take based on your uh, internet speed. It will be uploaded as soon as possible. Then it's uploaded now. I'm going to the below. There is option insert into the page. Just click insert into the page. Now it is inserted. The it took so no need to type for us here. So just publish. Now the page is published. I will check how the PDF will be open here. So now the ebook, click on it. Now click on this link. Now our ebook will be open here. See, this is how the ebooks will be open here. So anyone can upload this PDF, whatever it is, they can from read from their side. The same way the library can upload their uh, membership form, uh, uh, due, due sleep, or whatever it is you need to upload here, you can upload it. The user can download it and they can read it or they want to print or you can print it. So these are all the things we can do. The same way you can upload a lot of the PDF, lot of audio, video, whatever you need. That's what I said you can use as like an institutional repository also without paying any money and without no, no need for any uh, technical knowledge. The basic computer knowledge is more than enough. So just go to the back. Now we created an um, uh, this one. So someone will ask questions. Um, we have to protect this uh, particular uh, document. We are going to give for only specific um, uh, users. If it is college means they will give for a college student. Or it will be research center means they will give only for scientists or their, uh, their own users. So you can protect with password also. I can tell you how to protect with password in letter. So now we uploaded in uh, this PDF also. So now next thing we will upload for a nice video. So majority video will take if you have the same procedure you can upload if you have video in your system or else you have a video in YouTube. It is very simple. You can copy the link and paste here. You can add the videos here. So the only thing we have to create a menu for according to the what are the menu you need. You just create it. So he books also I created in as a top menu. It's if it is comes in under e resources, it will be better. So I will change it to the comes under e resources as well as we are going to add in a video also. So we'll check. Here I said, you know, so how to protect our document in the right side. There is a setting menu. You can go here. The visibility will be there in public. You can create as password protected. 
I am in the same menu of eBooks. That's what I am going here. Just click password protected and type on your password. Now I am giving just A B C at one two three. Then click on it. Update it. Now we'll check. e-books now see the e-books will be protected so if it is any copyright uh, issues without uh, you can use it as like a protected document once if the user can, they know the password they can open it otherwise they can't if i type something it will not open so we'll type a b c at one two three see now the book is visible before it's open everything uh, everyone now it asking for a password now it's protected the same way you can protect all menus as like this so this is how you can protect your document if it is valuable then i'm going to give us a sub menu and we are going to insert a video how to create a video go to dashboard i hope you can understand the step by step then add new page i'll create in a video then we'll go to the menu and create two menu as a sub menu no need for every time going for a menu and create a sub menu once we create all those major menus then we'll categorize as a sub menu what are the sub menu you will need and you can shuffle on it also you can do anything in this wordpress without any fear i'll tell you how to take a backup also so no need to worry about this the same thing use blank i just click uh, create a menu videos in that videos i don't have any videos right now we'll go to freshly select from youtube Click on it. So now I select this video. The same way for lecture videos, you can insert here. For this major advantages for us, no need to take any storage from our website in the Siri GP. It is it will play for as like YouTube from our website. So the student or user though no need to go for YouTube. what are the major link you can give that link here itself just copy on it copy the link and go to pages add block and there will be option you can the same thing you can go classic and insert the link you can do it same or else the same option will be available here the youtube now the youtube click on it embed it now see how our video is ready to view here now publish the same way publish it will be update okay now the video is ready to go the our website front page now the video is here just click on it see here our video is came in our website youtube video the user will come here and click on it here they can see the same way you can give your lecture videos whatever the if it is college means you can give the online lectures videos whatever you need you can upload your videos you can upload in youtube and give the link here 
or else you can upload through from our platform also there is a you know very well there is a 3 gb space also available here the same thing the same you can maximize they can see in the full screen also can edit it exit and paste it so this is how we can create uh, all those menus and categories now i'm going to give an a uh, menu going to show going to shuffle on in below to the e resources so just go to same thing click on the wordpress symbol w which means you will go for a dashboard so our major work will be in a dashboard as a admin so now the same thing we just go appearance menus okay see here this much menu we created see the i think nearly will be the 10 menus we created so now i'm going to give an a sub menu as a under e resources the same you know very well just click on e resources video just drop down here now save this is the same way you can create all those things now i created so there the same way you can create what are the menu you need uh, you can uh, add more than 10 menus based on your themes which theme you choose if it is not a uh, place is not enough you can put it as a sub menu that's enough okay so i'll created everything so i'm going to give in a contact address so for every website there will be a contact address i'll tell you how to add in a contact so we are uh, already have some default contact menu so i will going to utilize that contact as a menu so i will edit that contact and i will add for a menu for a contact address i can give it here so the thing is there will be in a contact here it will be list out as a alphabet order a b c d like this it don't give any top menu or side menu it don't give any uh, hierarchy it will give for a only for an alphabet order it's like e resources home library here it will come like this only so no need to worry about this well, why he is in a sub menu why it showing here as a top menu don't confuse with that one okay so now i am going to edit on it contact click on contact and we just prepare your contact list i just type something from my name and all or just going to paste on here and that's it till open so here the classic one they will be available if the user want to send a name and email you can contact with them or else you can create a fresh contact if you don't i think it won't need for for me i'm just tell it all those things i'm going to give an a fresh as like my contact and just to remove the block okay i just remove then i have typed my contact address i just copy on it and click the block button just go to the text and paragraph or you can go to the classic also you can choose a classic and you can type as like this
see here there will be a gap for with each and every line so if you are going in a classic you can solve this all those issue so i'll choose again in a classic classic select this click on it the same way i said you how to fix on a text color just choose and colors and update it now it's updated we'll check our site now the contact click on here here there our contact will be shown here this is our contact will be shown we can uh, remove the space and all i will tell you so the contact also ready here see how this is the same way we can create lot of menu here so we have a lot of menu i will show you our college website how many we i have created in later so these are all we can create same menu one by one so this is a basic for everything the same way you can create lot of menus and sub menus as like it same so the concept is same so now here the contact is in a second menu home contact about us and the resource e resources i need for a contact in the last or in the middle based on your requirement in now i need for the contact is in the last so what we'll do again go to the dashboard as you know very well appearance menus in that menu see here the contact in the second one i said the what you done in the sub menu as like same just shuffle your contact just click the contact and drag down in the below the same you can slowly you can drag it and paste it now the contact is in the last but you have to do one thing don't forget it save the menu once you save the menu now it will be saved if you have any corrections you can add any correction like a contact as whatever you need you just type on it now refresh it see now contact in the last the same you can create in between in between the lot of menu we can create on it so this is how we can create a we can insert we can add a media audio video whatever you need the same way you can do it so the website is almost ready the only thing if some website will be looking like their uh, college with their college name and the college logo we can create a banner so once we create a banner it's looking like a professional website most of the college website is looking like their university and their in the top menu there will be a logo and all all those things will be available i will tell you how to upload the logo or um, the banner instead of this text you need for this text you can maintain it if no need you can change it the simple thing we can do it in a paint also i'll tell you the basic steps you can do it so i'm going to utilize my tvs polytechnic college logo i created already first what to do just go in word file you just type your college name and insert your college logo and all so like this you can select it or type on it here the same way you can type if it is library or if it is college you can select on it the same thing you just copy on it open the paint it will take 5 to 10 minutes you can um, rearrange it on in the correct manner paint once you done it this one the website will be in a more professional look now you can paste like this you can drag it the text will be hiding on it so we can 
little bit you can work on it you will be find on all those six solution just crop it i did like this only and crop it and save as a jpg or png whatever you need i just saved that file i created so this is how i have created from paint only so i tell you how to upload this banner in the front page to the our website the same thing here the below the themes option there will be customize click on customize below the appearance customize on it. here here you can change your front page website name also if it is not library just remove it if you need library you can type on it now at present i know for this one i am going to add for an banner so for me no need just select this icon it will looking for our media the file is won't be uploaded so again i will go to upload files select file and choose your banner what you created then select it thing you made in wrong place so you just select on the logo click on the logo and crop it it will be cropping in the same okay like see now the banner is ready here there is a low size which size you want to display just click on it otherwise if you no need for this banner you just type here the site name simply type on it so now it go and i'm going to refresh my page now see how it will look in between just save changes sometimes it will take one or two minutes to appear in our front page of the website so when
ఫైనలీ so once your website is created and everything is going on good but you need some backup also once you take in a backup your website whenever your site is crashed or uh, it not possible to crash and all those thing but sometimes some unknown danger or something happen you can get a backup and upload it immediately it will be display again the same what your website you created so i'll tell you how to take a backup and this is on our last step on our website so here we go there is two option tool that you put on the export delete site if you delete site the site will go so you have it again if you have back no need to worry on it again you can import it so just export the content first if you need in that round you can import here just export after we take a back Okay, will you be able to see this screen? No, no. Well, uh, there is some technical issue from your side. As I think the internet balance is low. It's running on the internet. Oh, it will come. So now it's come. See here, you can yeah. export that. Uh, you can export the content. Click on it, export. Once you export the content, they will send a link to our email. we can um, we can download it from our email see here they they the send a download for link to our email id it will work for only 7 days you just go to the email then you will be receive on a backup email you can download it in your save it in your own system whenever you need you can re upload it so here they send it within a second export completed this is our backup see here we have fixed finished export your site your site files will be available for the next 7 days so before that you just click on download it just download and save it in your desktop in your file whenever you need you can take it the same way whenever you are going to update your website frequently you take on a backup see now it's downloaded the same thing you can do it think what else we have to do thank you i conclude my presentation and live demonstration i hope you can do website in your website or personal website whatever it is with this session thank you to go through thank you rada isnan uh, we received uh, nearly 15 questions some of question you already answered 
I ask one by one. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Your yes. voice is not clear. I think your voice is not able to hear me. But, but your voice is not audible to us. Uh, okay, the second, first question that now. can this uh, can this library web portal using WordPress can we use in school libraries? Yes, definitely. That's what I said. Any library or any college, the based on your recommend will be designed as a website. You can create your school also. Most of the schools are on this WordPress platform also. So you can definitely can use on it. Next one. So the next question. Ah, yes. Can we connect with Google Drive? Also, it means yes. if resources available, may my drive. Yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. I, I said you once we are going to enter the link, there will be an option embedded link as well as the same link. Uh, you just copy that your link from Google Drive. You just go on it and share your content first. Then only the user will be able to open. You give the permission from Google Drive, share to everyone or uh, listed people. Just copy the link the same way you can create a, as a submenu or subtitle. You just insert the link, it will be open. So it creates a lot of options to you. Uh, the less number of space we can utilize from the Google. So we can do it. The same thing, what I add in a link option. Okay. We received many questions like that with Google Drive, PDF. How can we add PDF books in the resources? Or we can only give links. Can we add a PDF or only we need to give link? I said, you know, I I have added one PDF also in our uh, uh, here in, the, in, in the, our PDF oh, column. Yeah. I added one ebook also. The same way ebook you can connect from Google Drive also. We can add on it. No, I think they are asking in the uh, prospect of uh, IPR or copyright problem. Only we can add the link or we can add e-resources. If we subscribe the e-resources, can we download and upload it on our website? Based on the, see, that's what I said. If it is copyrighted issue, you can see only your institution which just put on a password protector. So then only they can use it. If it is copyrighted violated, uh, I recommend those people, please don't upload it. If, once it is open source, we can upload on it. If you are buying something, if you are going to access within the campus, we just put in a password. Protect it with the government. That's I suggest to him or his. Okay, the next question, with top of the organization, can we paste a logo also? Yes, yes. Yeah. There, is a, there is a two option. You can create a upload logo as well as banner. If you have a logo, you can simply you paste your logo also. The same thing, you just paste your logo, upload it to your logo. We can do. OK, the next question, I uh, already told how to protect how to protect our website. See, uh, website is already protected one. It is from WordPress server. They are uh, in the since of 2003. They are, uh, they are leading in the content management system. So our website is almost is very secure. That's what I said. You can back up your website frequently, weekly ones or monthly ones. Whenever you upload your content, you just back up your site. Once the site is uh, something happened, you just re-upload or import the site. Within a five minutes, our, our new website will be ready. So no need to worry about this one. Next one. Okay, the next question. Is it possible we saw the website in other languages like Kannada, Hindi? To same create in other languages. languages. Huh, same website, same website in two language. languages. Uh, no, at present, in a, we are using a free version. It is not possible to us. 
but one thing we can do it <clears throat> uh, you can um, change the website name now i choose for tvs library now i go it is if it is canada you can use it canada or k or uh, something like that you can create a n number of website with the same login the same login you can go and create one more website and publish same login so we can do it in a multiple website within the same login but one website it won't be display in a different language as like in foreign website it will be for latin language or french whatever it's showing on like that but here we can't do it because of we are using free one okay the next question how to remove ready made menu available in the template you already showed yes, that as i said yes i showed that you just go whenever you need it for menu or delete your menu or going to update your content you just go to the pages pages click on all pages once the all pages you find out which menu you are going to delete it i already this if i go black i just go and click on black and then for remove you just remove it till you remove once you remove it then हेलो राधा कृष्ण I think we have uh, some technical issues with with our resource person. So we'll conclude this session with a vote of thanks from Mr. Suresh. Okay, thank sir. you, Janakar sir. Uh, first of all, I thank you very much for Radha Krishnan for his nice, uh, informative and useful uh, session. Uh, today we get more information uh, in a practical manner. So since I am uh, I am already using a uh, WordPress, I get some new new information from this session. For example, uh, WordPress giving a 3 GB space, and also we can uh, upload our books and uh, uh, PDFs in a uh, uh, WordPress. This is this, this was a very new uh, new thing to me. So thank you, Radha Krishnan, for uh, uh, giving some practical session. And also, I thank you very much for Trina for us to uh, to organize uh, uh, this uh, WordPress. Uh, I well, one thing I want to uh, convey the participant. Uh, next week onwards, we are uh, conducting a weekly program. It's a practical session. Uh, we are not going to teach the classic library things. You know, here onwards, we are going to uh, at, uh, taking a webinar on a practical session like WordPress, Spoke, or Space. Uh, that kind of things we are going to. Uh, organize uh, don't miss it it, it was it is very useful to your uh, uh, library and library professionalship so don't miss it uh, let's add section and also turn over turn over sir thank you sir uh, thank you radha krishna for your wonderful presentation and uh, at present we received uh, on registration and also feedback very good feedback from all our participants can you hear me our voice your voice is not coming yes sir. yes tell me your voice is breaking okay, okay we received 350 on registration till now and uh, very good feedback from all our participants okay thank you for accepting our invitation to Conduct this webinar. Thank you, thank you. Thank and also, you. dear participants, uh, dear participants, uh, all your certificates already uploaded in uh, list website. Subsequently, till now we uploaded certificates up to 11:50 p.m. 11:50 a.m. Those who registered before 11:50 a.m. can download the certificates. Remaining participant will 
receive within uh, half an hour. So you can check LISC's website. Yeah. Also, the download link will be available permanently. So download link, registration link available in description and comment section. You can download your certificate within half an hour, everybody. Go to website and use control F, find your name, download your certificate. Thank you, one and all. Thank you. Radha, update in late. Come on, number.